Welcome back! Today I am excited to cover how to install SideStore and other IPA files using all new and official iLoader tool method into any iOS device like iPhone or iPad, so let's jump straight in. So let's start off by launching any web browser. Type and search for SideStore. On the search results page, click on this first link, as shown. And once you are on the official SideStore website, simply click on Get Started which will redirect to this website. So before installing SideStore, let's cover its prerequisites, like it requires an iOS device with a passcode running on at least iOS 15, a computer running Windows, Mac OS, or even Linux, an Apple account, and a stable Wi-Fi connection. Also keep in mind that 32-bit version of Windows, as well as Windows 10 on ARM architecture, are not supported. To check your Windows computer's architecture, search and launch the settings program and search for device specifications. And as you can see here, my computer is not having 32-bit architecture. So let's move to the next step of installing SideLoader. But first, if you are using a Windows computer, you must install iTunes either from Microsoft Store or directly from Apple. I would strongly suggest to install directly from Apple. Continue downloading the iTunes tool first and then install this side loader called iLoader, which is in MSI format and EXE format. You can choose either one. And once both the programs are downloaded, first install and set up iTunes like any other program. And if you already have one, I would suggest that you uninstall the previous one and fresh install iTunes. Next, let's go ahead and install the iLoader tool. Meanwhile, if you are still watching, please do subscribe and also like this video. If you get to this window, click on More Info and select Run Anyway. Continue clicking on Next to install the iLoader tool. And finally, launch the iLoader tool. This is the user interface, which is very easy to understand and clean. And now connect your iOS device to the computer using a cable and your device should be recognized by the iLoader tool, which is visible here. Next, simply click on this refresh button and as you can see here, my device is recognized successfully. But if it does not recognize your iOS device, then you can watch this video, which will solve the issue. Link will be in description. Next, enter your Apple ID and password, and you can even use your main Apple account without any worries. It may ask for a verification code, if you have two-factor authentication enabled. Once you have signed in successfully, let's go ahead and sideload the SideStore app into iOS device. There are various variations of SideStore, like stable version, nightly version, live container version. But for this video, let's sign and sideload the stable version of SideStore. You can see that installation process has started successfully. Now, if you ever face this exact issues, just go back and navigate to the certificates section and simply revoke the certificates, which you do not require. Once the certificates are revoked here, go back and continue to install the side store stable version. And this time, the installation process will get completed without any errors. And as you can see, side store is signed and side loaded successfully into my iOS device. Next, on your iOS device, launch the Settings app and navigate to VPN and Device Management and simply trust the certificate. But if you have any anti-revoke DNS installed, you must delete it immediately. That's it. Now go ahead and trust the certificate. You may be required to enter your passcode to trust the certificate. Once done, let launch the SideStore app. If it says to enable developer mode, then head over to settings again and navigate to privacy and security. Scroll down to the bottom of the page and simply enable to developer mode from here. To apply the changes, you will be asked to restart the device. So do as instructed. And during reboot, you should see this screen. Simply swipe up from the bottom to continue and finally tap on enable option. This will enable the developer mode in your iOS device. Now launch the Side Store app and allow all the permissions it asks. And it's very crucial to allow these permissions, otherwise, Side Store may cause issues. Next, navigate to the settings and log in with your Apple ID and password. 
and it's a good practice to log in with the same Apple account, which was used earlier to sign into iLoader Tool. You will be asked to input a verification code if you have two-factor authentication enabled. And if you do not receive any code, you can always refer to this video I made. Link will be in description. Once logged it, it's mandatory to refresh SideStore the first time after logging in. Navigate to My Apps section and tap on this refresh button. But you will notice that the refresh will not start and you will face an error like you see in the video as we need a VPN to allow SideStore to initiate refreshing process. You can use any one of these VPN for refreshing purpose. In my case, I will use Local Dev VPN as it's currently available on App Store. So head over to App Store and install the VPN into your iOS device. Once the Local Dev VPN is installed successfully, launch the app. And once you reach to this point, simply tap on Connect and complete the VPN configuration where you may have to input your passcode. When the status of the VPN is connected, let's go back to SideStore app and start the refreshing process. And as you can see, the refreshing process has started. And finally, the same is refreshed successfully without any error. Finally, let's sign and sideload any IPA file using SideStore. First, before sideloading, make sure that the device is connected to Wi-Fi or hotspot and the VPN is turned on. Launch the SideStore app and tap on this plus icon here. Next, locate any IPA file of your choice. And in my case, I will sideload the Dolphin app. As you can see, the sideloading process has started already, which is indicated by this progress bar located here. If you are liking this video, please do subscribe to my channel and also like and comment down below. Eventually, the target app is sideloaded successfully. And if I go back and launch the app, you can see that it's clearly launching without any issue. But please note that every app sideloaded has a validity of seven days only, so it's mandatory to refresh these apps to reset the validity period. So to refresh sideloaded apps, first make sure that you are connected to Wi-Fi or hotspot, and also the VPN is enabled and connected. And then launch the SideStore app and simply tap on the Refresh All option. The refreshing process should start, and once it is completed, you will see that the validity is reset to seven days again. So in this way, you have to refresh it every time to avoid side store or other apps from getting expired. But if you want to automate the entire refreshing process, you can watch my next video and learn how to automatically refresh apps. Thank you and stay subscribed.